Alright guys, this is Mr. Dredger again. He was also the model for the half post method. If you are watching this because your dog has pockets in its ear, you've been told that your dog has pockets in its ears, um, please make your zip tie posts or your back wrap posts, whichever you're using. Before washing this, I already have my posts ready to go, so I will not be showing you how to make the posts in this video. I do have a tutorial on zip ties and I'm hoping to make one on back rod soon. Um, but this will just show you how to take care of that pocket. So, um, I'm just going to post one of his ears with a bumper since it was looking like it might want to cause a slight pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and post this one ear up normal and then I'll show you how to deal with the pocket. If you have an ear, if you have a dog that just has one ear with a pocket, just put, just put a bumper in that one ear. There's no reason to put a bumper in the other ear if it does not have a pocket. Everybody has kind of their own posting method. So don't be surprised if mine is a little bit different than somebody else's. Go with what you like. This is what I know. This is what I know works for me. And for the people that I've helped with posting. Okay, you guys, now. He really doesn't have enough of a pocket for me to have to post it with a bumper, but I, I've had a few people ask on a tutorial for this, so I will show you guys how this works. So right here, you can see his ears just wanting to lean in just a little bit right here, and that's what a pocket is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your post that you already made, I do zip ties, and you are gonna stick it into the base of the ear like normal. Remember when you are pushing this into the ear, you wanna get it down as deep in the canal as possible. So you put your thumb on top of that padding and you push it down into the base of the ear. You're not gonna hurt your dog. If this is your first time posting, they may whine a little bit, you're not gonna hurt them. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a cotton square, you're gonna fold it into a fourth and you are gonna put it wherever that pocket is forming between the ear and the post. Just gonna stick it right in there. If you have to fold it again, do that. But you just want it to be right there. Then you're gonna stretch this ear up as normal, nice and tall, and stick it to the post. Fold the top over like you normally would, and you're just gonna post as you normally would. Now there's a little bumper in there pushing that ear out so that it won't create a pocket. Gonna pull up on the ear, and tape around. Like you normally would remember not to pull tight on the tape just have it lay over and squeeze the tape stuck to the ear I know this is kind of a fast tutorial so if you need to watch it more than once your tiny strip goes up top if you are posting your puppy's ears with a bumper do not bridge them you should not have a reason to bridge them you can see my zip ties are a little curvy right now. It's not the end of the world. You want to try and bend them as straight as possible, but it's not going to affect the ear that much. So you just kind of squeeze all the tape, make sure that you're getting it all nice and stick stuck to the ear. And it should look like normal. It'll be a little bit thicker right here than the other post, and that's just because that bumper is in there. And that's how you post with a bumper.